Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we begin, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and turn on post notifications so uh, you guys can, um, can always know when I uh, upload a new video. And also uh, like and share the videos because it will help me too much. So as you can see from the thumbnail, today I'm going to show you and address an error that we can uh, that we can get when we open Claymore and trying to start mining. Okay, so today uh, we are going to see how you can solve the problem uh, with this kind of error. No AMD OpenCL or NVIDIA CUDA GPUs found exit. This is a pretty um, uh, easy error to fix. So first thing to, uh, you need to know is that this uh, error generally, let's say, comes out when uh, your Windows 10 is uh, updated or when your uh, uh, GPU drivers are updated. Uh, so uh, if you have uh, the, automatic, uh, the automatic updates uh, turned on, then you should turn them off uh, because this is generally the, the main cause of this uh, error. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is uh, going and deactivating or disabling the Windows 10 uh, automatic updates. And to do this, this is very easy. You just go to this PC, uh, right click, then go to manage. And then we go to services and application. We open services right here. Then, um, then on the end in here we need to find windows update and here it is we double click on it and here uh, the st uh, on the startup type you need to open this and click on disabled then you click apply then you click ok if for some reason you can't do this when you open this when you go in here open this one then you first click on stop to stop this service first, then you open startup type, then go to disabled, then click apply, OK, and you close all and you are all done. That's it for the Windows update. Obviously, this is, um, this is not enough for this problem, so we need to do something more to be able to solve uh, uh, to solve this uh, this error in here. And the first thing we need to do is go and download some of um, uh, some of the files that we need or the drivers uh, if you have um, not downloaded uh, them yet and we need obviously DDU, uh, DDU display driver uninstaller we need the AMD blockchain compute drivers and we need AMD ADI pixel clock patcher and uh, I'm sure most of you knows this procedure but we need to uh, we need to download uh, all of these uh, files and drivers in here and then uh, this means that we need to uninstall the current drivers that we have on our uh, on our rig then we need to reinstall the drivers and obviously do the uh, pixel patcher and we're done and um, obviously the procedure is really easy but if you haven't done it then I'm going to show you in here after you download uh, DDU then you go to your folder when you downloaded it. I have done it already. You extract it because it is uh, most of the times it is in a zip file. After you extracted it, then you open the program. Then uh, you will get this one. You click on launch and you will get this notification. Don't worry about this. It's not, uh, it's not important. So you just close this. And uh, you can do this by click and restart. Highly recommend it. But uh, I, um, I recommend you guys to do this procedure, the DDU procedure, or let's say the uninstalling of the drivers in safe mode. And to do that, you just go to the options. Then in here, you have advanced options. Change at your own risk. So uh, you, you will get this one unticked. You just tick this one, click on close, click DDU, then reopen it again. And when you reopen, you open this one and click safe mode and then reboot to safe mode. When uh, the PC reboots, uh, the DDU driver uninstaller will open automatically. But if it doesn't not, then you just uh, open it uh, in safe mode. Then um, 
uh, like I showed you, you click on clean and restart and um, after the drivers are cleaned up, you just wait for the restart and then after Windows comes up, then you go uh, to the blockchain drivers that you downloaded. I recommend you use the, uh, the Windows 10 64-bit version because I have used it on Windows 7 and Windows 10 32-bit and they do not work. So. Um, uh, don't go ahead and try with this one, but uh, instead try and install Windows uh, 10 64 bits so you can be sure that these drivers uh, are going to work at 100%. After you uh, download the drivers, obviously you need to open them and install them. Obviously, uh, I don't need to show you how to install the drivers. You just click on next, next, next. So, so follow the procedure to install the drivers. And uh, after the drivers are installed, you just close all the windows that are open, but not restart the PC. So, so this, mean that th this means that when the drivers are finished installing, it will ask you to restart your PC. But you don't restart your PC, but just close that window, then, uh, or let's say close every window, then you go... Uh, to the downloads where you have downloaded ATI pixel patcher then you do the pixel patcher first you just uh, open it then you will get uh, this table in here <coughs> sorry obviously I get already patched because my video cards are patched but you will get something like found you click on yes to patch the, the uh, to pass the drivers it will say uh, patching done then you can restart your pc but obviously if you if you forget to to do this procedure uh, let's say if you restart your pc right after you install the drivers it doesn't matter you can do the pixel patcher uh, after uh, the restart but obviously it's um, uh, it's better to do it uh, to do it this way so you can be sure this uh, will uh, will uh, work 100% so basically that uh, that was it and um, I think it's uh, really easy so basically you just need to uh, to stop uh, auto updating of the windows and the drivers of the AMD GPUs or Nvidia if you have problems with uh, with these video cards and uh, when you open claymore then uh, all should uh, all should be good but if for some reason you cannot do uh, this procedure uh, this procedure or um, this procedure does not work this means that um, your drivers or your video cards does not uh, work with the uh, with the windows uh, with the latest windows update which is version uh, version uh, 1803 uh, so uh, to be able to do that but this is if the first method i told you doesn't work uh, you can use the second method and uh, basically you just go to start you go to settings then go to update and security then you go to recovery in here you will get something like go to a previous uh, uh, version of windows or build i don't know uh, 100 percent so uh, basically you just roll back the update of your windows so you roll back from version uh, 1803 to 1709 I think I don't get that um, that button in here because I have done the rollback and if we go to Windows update view installed if you can see I am on uh, the latest um, uh, drive uh, update of uh, Windows version 1709 and this is because um, I couldn't fix this problem with uh, the Windows uh, update 1803 so if you are having the same problem then you must uh, roll back your driver to the version 1709 and you are good to go then you do the procedure i showed you i showed you earlier okay guys the, that was uh, it if you have any question obviously you can ask on the comment section and i will try my best to help you out if uh, for some reason you are having problem but uh, this is uh, the way you can fix uh, this error and um, I hope uh, I was clear on what I just said and um, yeah see you guys on the next one bye bye